Here, let us see what is linear equation in two variables. Now, any equation which has got two variables is called a linear equation in two variables. For example, let's take 2x plus 3y equals 5. Or the same thing can be written as 2x plus 3y minus 5 equal to 0. Now, these both are linear equations in two variables because they've got x and y, which are variables. Now then, what is not a linear equation in two variables? Say, let us consider 2x plus 5 equal to 0. Or let's say 2y minus 3 equal to 0. Now, these two equations are linear equations, but they are not linear equation in two variables because they've just got one variable here, which is x, and here it's just y. So, these two are not linear equation in two variables, whereas this, which is the same as this, is a linear equation in two variables. Let us quickly see another couple of examples for what is a linear equation and what is not a linear equation. I'll just write down few things, few equations here. So let us see if you can identify what are the linear equation in two variables and what are not linear equation in two variables. So 3y plus 5z minus 6 equal to 0. 2y plus 0x plus 5 equal to 0. 3x plus 7 equal to 2. 4y plus z minus 2 equal to 0. Now let us consider these four equations here. The first one that is 3y plus 5z minus 6 equal to 0 clearly has got two variables in y and z. So therefore, this is a linear equation in two variables. Let us consider this one, 2y plus 0x. Does this mean something here? 0x is as good as 0 itself. So therefore, this might as well not exist here. So we can write this as 2y plus 5 equal to 0. So this is a linear equation in just one variable. 3x plus 7 equal to 2. This is linear equation but why are there two constants here i mean we can write this as 3x plus 7 minus 2 equal to 0 which is again 3x plus 5 equal to 0 so how many variables do you see here it's just one therefore it is linear equation in one variable and coming to the final one 4y plus z minus 2 equal to 0 very clearly this has got two variables here y and z and therefore this is a linear equation in two variables. I think most of you should have got these things right here.